Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I just want to do a short video today, just just really highlighting something that that really stands out to me um, from some of the recent Power BI challenges that we've done. Now we're lucky, we're really lucky at Enterprise DNA in that these the Power BI Challenge initiative has um, created the ability to see the progress in development of um, those who've joined our community and how they actually create Power BI reports. Because in the past, this wasn't really um, possible. You know, we've had the forum, the Enterprise DNA forum for a while now, but a lot of it was just sort of, can you help, you know, can we get some help on this code? How do I build my model? But it wasn't about looking at an entire report. But now that I've been able to, we've done a number of challenges now, um, and I've been able to look through a lot of submissions. I mean, we're getting um, maybe 30 to 40 submissions each challenge now, and I, th I feel that's gonna grow. I, I really feel like we're gonna get into the hundreds eventually, because this is just the best learning experience ever. Um, one thing that's really stuck out to me is that colors are still not used as effectively as I feel that they should be. And it's such an easy fix. It is, it fix, it is, it is so simple to to update uh, and change in your reports, but it makes just such a huge difference. And so I'm going to show you what I mean, and then I'm going to show you the tools that we've created that you can really easily use to create your own color palettes, right? And to create consistent colors that work really well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all just jump into this most recent uh, at time of recording. We had a, a challenge, and so there was huge huge amount of submissions this. Uh, through this. Now, you can navigate to this yourself. You can look through um, this thread. For each different challenge, we have a thread where everyone um, creates the, like places their submissions and sort of details a bit about their work. And it's just in the Power BI challenges category in the forum. So all you gotta do is navigate to that. And I'll just scroll down a little bit here. And so you see we've got a huge amount of people who have posted in this one. Uh, I'll just scroll down and I'll just, I'll just you know, on the fly, I'll just do a bit of a, of a review around some of these submissions and, and, and tell you what I mean, right? Um, okay, so this one, this one looks okay. This one looks okay, but small things, right? I'm not 100% convinced that these colors work with the colors that, that are in here, okay? So, but you know, only, only, only a small tweak on this one. Um, this one here... I kind of like it's it's okay it's it's when you have a like a black background it's it, you are really um, going a bit out there in terms of um, you know in, t in terms of your visualization I've done it a few times and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't this is this is this is okay I think I don't I don't love the red but it's it's the the color palette is consistent at least one of, one of the big tips around colors that I like to always say is um, you know, keep things simple. Don't overload your reports with colors, right? So you, you only need to use, you know, three, four colors max. Okay, so here's here's another one. Um, so here's a, here's a perfect example, right? This red here, this red doesn't work. This doesn't, it doesn't work with the other colors in the report. So everything else is kept pretty simple. Then all of a sudden you've got this weird red in there. Okay, so simple change, make sure your color palette is consistent. Don't need to do anything, um, you know, Fancy, other than just keep it similar. Okay, here's here's a perfect example. This could be this could look so much better if you had just had a, a, a more consistent palette, right? Um, these these colors to me look a little bit random compared to the green that's used sort of around the report. But if these these visualizations had sort of like a green um, palette, and you just use derivatives of this main green that's been used, this would look so much more compelling. But to me, it detracts away from the value that has been generated. Again, down here these don't to me work that well with the green so everything in your report has to work well with the palette same here this red is just totally random um i don't really love that you you, you want to try to keep things more consistent again um this one here this is from um brian who's one of our enterprise dna experts so to me um it's hard to critique that one <laughs> because uh, that 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 is used you know your relatively simple palette right uh, you got um some icons at the top here um, so no, that's that's a pretty good one. If you want to read about more about these, right, definitely jump into the Enterprise DNA forum, forum.enterprisedna.co. For if, what, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to create the most collaborative um, atmosphere, like collaborative community. We're all learning off each other, right? I'm learning so much off everyone else. We have a category in here called Project Updates. 
and so what's happening every everyone who's submitting to the challenge uh is um can also write about how they did it right so for example uh recently recently i think i uh, i actually put my own one in here um so well historically i've done write-ups myself but everyone does a write-up everyone does a, a pretty decent write-up of how their project um uh how their project went so i just i did a, a very very recent one i just want to make sure that that is landed somewhere ah here we go power bi challenge five this was this was one i did very very recently where this was from power bi challenge five and i detail how i did it. so there's a lot there's a lot you can learn just through popping onto the forum and going through these threads right all the great techniques um some of them i've demonstrated in, in videos on the channel um but there's m far more detail like some of some of the ones uh, especially from some of the the enterprise dna experts have you know the most comprehensive write-ups i mean you'll just learn so much analytically about how to operate power bi so so definitely check it out it's just, i mean it's 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 better than reading most blogs out there to be honest is, is to read some of these forum threads uh in the project updates category okay now so i'll just do a couple more i just want to do a couple more just because i just want to show you like it doesn't take much it does not take much to improve the colors here okay so the, so check out this one this is this is melissa's one from the challenge I've, I've i've actually highlighted this a couple of times now in videos but the color palette here is so simple but so effective right it's just it's just basically two colors there's there's colors for the icons same color used there same color used there but we've got a different color um made up there you know two two to three colors that's all you need to use right um there's so much good stuff embedded into that report by the way okay here's another one from uh, i think this is jarrett jarrett again i think this is this is really good right same used a really nice color palette all all works in really really well um so actually, absolutely nothing i can critique there um this is another one from greg greg phelps who's again used really simple color palette so nothing to critique there i just want to show you a couple of other ones which, which i would like be easy to improve okay so here here's one that is very easily imp improved right this background color to me doesn't really go with any of these colors um here so really simple fix of um, maybe changing the background color to a different shade because it looks like these ones are all the same palette but you've got to make sure that there's good contrast between your colors okay um and i'm going to show you these tools in a little bit um here's another one this is this is quite innovative it's quite innovative but random colors and so this to me would look so much better if there was a similar uh, uh, a consistent color palette one other thing that um i just highlight just because i can see it here is i think that it's better to have exactly the same um shapes in this in your report because what what's been done here is we've got a curved um rectangle here and we've but we've got a straight line rectangle here i think what you want to do from a ui perspective is you want to keep those consistent okay um okay we'll do one more and then i'll show you what what tools we've got to make this um better okay so to me this is okay so we've got a black background again so taking a bit of a gamble but these blues are all good i just don't think that if, if you were to be you know a little bit more uh, actually i think this is from a this is the green one isn't it this is exactly the same one um it's just with some improvements the background color and the table to me doesn't really go with the blues here so again needs to be kept a little bit simpler i mean maybe just having the black background here if continuing on through the page with white um white lettering within the table would be a better way to um to use colors there this is my one here this um again i've used a really simple palette i mean i've hardly used any colors i mean i think i've used three colors maybe so background there and sort of i, I took a bit of a gamble with a purple color but pretty consistent um okay one more so this is another good one this is pretty cool actually using using imagery that's i really like this one it's really good from harsh another well harsh is another enterprise dna expert so there you go <laughs> that's that's why this, this one's so good um okay another another good one here okay so i mean hopefully you can see when you when you actually view these ones how much more compelling they are when they are just simple right so it's it's good to for us to just for me to just showcase the contrast between just just tweaking your colors a little bit makes such a big difference in the way that your your report actually um you know 
uh, is viewable, right? So um, looks like, yeah, uh, Ab Abu's done an, an awesome job this one here too. Really love it. Really love this submission as well. This is this is the quality. This is the quality that we're getting in this, in, into the challenges. And I, and I just want to get you involved as well. Okay, now if you want to, uh, so let's have a look here. Let's have a look. So I'll just... Um, if you want to get some good ideas around colors, okay, we are trying to do everything we can to improve your development, speed up your development. We have the color theme generator. You can navigate to this in a number of different ways. Uh, it's actually within our analyst hub application down here, um, which we're making some huge improvements to at the moment. So I've got some exciting announcements coming up on that soon, but you can click on color theme generator here and you've got three options. You can, you've got your color, th color fan here. And so this is, you can twirl this around and you can get different colors um, down the bottom here. You can click in the middle here. So this is how you get the sh like different shades of the same color, which is always a really effective way to um, decide which colors you use, right? When you're, um, to me, this is what I use most of the time these days because I wanna choose a color palette and sort of stick to it. We also have, um, and, and you can get the hex codes down the bottom here. What we're going to do is we're going to make more colors available so i know that this doesn't equal an entire uh, color theme we need more colors so we're, we're we're going to get more colors um for you to select from you can also use this where you can upload an image and get colors from that image i've shown that um in a previous demonstration but literally just go copy go find some colors from online bring it in here um, upload upload an image from you know s some sort of image i think i think i may have probably got one from from before Let's have a look. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, oh, do I have one? Do I have one? Do I have one? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's just find a random image here. Okay, so I'll just select a random image. So this is from a prior dashboard, right? So if you like a dashboard from the sh from the Enterprise DNA Showcase, you can just go and grab the um the colors from that image uh you can do it from any 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 image from anywhere online right and then we also have this this palette generator here we are making some enhancements to this uh, because i don't love you know, like the a lot of the contrast between the colors um but you know it's it, it does give you so you can change the numbers down the bottom here uh and you know maybe just get a few core colors that you like uh, and then there is another app that allows you and we, we're, we're trying to get to this app as well this coolers.co where you can actually start with a particular color start with a particular color and then um, actually input that color and then get the colors which relate to that particular color so you see here um, so you can get lots of different colors related to that color so then you could then come into power B, a power bi model uh, and then all you got to do is come to the, uh, where is it? View, come to the theme. And then within the theme area, you've got customize current theme. And then literally all you've got to do is change a few of the colors here. And that's it. Okay, so I've given you a few options there, a um, few ideas. But, you know, what it comes down to is just how, uh, how important colors are. Okay, and the challenge has really highlighted that to me, so I thought I'd just create a separate video about it. Um, so hopefully, you know, you can see we've got the tools to help you out here, and um, we're going to make this even better uh, very, very soon. So um, we're, we're turning this into a, the analyst hub into a full-blown sign-on application. So got a lot of um, exciting developments um, that will be coming out very, very soon there. For, so watch out, watch out from um, for more details on that. Okay, all the very best, everyone. Um, definitely throw the video a like if you enjoyed uh, running through some of these ideas. Uh, appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay, take care.